Good evening everyone, welcome back to Tony's Movie Reviews. Tonight I'm going to review the movie um, Just a Stranger. It's a local movie produced uh, here in the Philippines by Viva Films. And I saw it on Netflix uh, la last week. It stars uh, Anne Curtis, and who plays May, and Marco Gumaba who plays Jericho. Uh, other two notable actors in this movie are Sherry Hill and Edu Banzano. Edu Banzano plays uh, Anne Curtis' um, husband, while Sherry Hill, uh, she's only in one scene, but she plays um, uh, a lover of Edu Banzano. So anyway, um, I, uh, this movie was shown, I think, last year, but I did not watch it in the theaters because I'm not really, I don't know, I think I was busy last time. But I decided to watch it uh, out of curiosity uh, because I needed uh, to find out. Uh, because I saw Sid and Aya, uh, I think a year ago, and I was curious about this movie by Anne Curtis. And uh, interestingly, I read the reviews and they were not so nice. No? Uh, by the way, the movie is written and directed by Jason Paul Laksamana. Uh, the reviews were not so kind, but for a strange reason, I could relate to the movie. Um, I was so sad in the end and there are aspects of the movie which um, uh, I could relate to personally uh, I think it's the, the, the idea of um, you know finding uh, something exciting at, a, at an older age um, the critics though their beef with the movie was that one of their beefs though was uh, that Anne Curtis didn't look too old because she was, to play, she was supposed to play an older woman to Marco Gumabo's younger man but since Anne looked so youthful um, the critics could not buy the idea that it was a May-December affair but I'm already 49 years old and uh, I'm almost 50 but people say I don't look like 50 so the truth is I have friends who look like Anne Curtis who are in their 40s, late 50s. I have friends who are in their late 60s who look like they're in their 40s. So sorry to the critics, there are women who look like Anne Curtis and are at 48 years old, 58 years old, 68 years old. In other words, this is my, this mean that when you age you have to look old, no? These women take care of themselves. Uh, they make sure they're happy, uh, their outlook in life is very happy, and it also helps that they have good husbands to provide for them because keeping beautiful is not cheap, you know? Well, anyway, that's beside the point of the movie. Um, so I could buy the idea that Anne is a woman in her uh, mid-30s who meets a guy who's supposed to be 19 years old in, of all places, Lisbon, Portugal, no? Lisbon is where Madonna lives right now. That's why it was so cool to see the place so beautiful and um, well photographed. Uh, that part of the movie, well photographed, um, very romantic, and um, just like the critics, I thought it would end there. You know? um, I thought it was just an affair. Um, I am not in any relationship, but I could relate to the fact that when I travel, I always get to meet someone as exciting as Marco Gumabo. Not always a Filipino, but you know, someone who 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 brings you around the place, who shows you the best thing about the place, and also the best thing about him as a person. Uh, unfortunately, unlike their characters, I don't uh, delve more into the romantic things. No? Um, right now, you have Facebook, Instagram. Twitter, that's the best place you can meet them uh, for the reason that I don't do LDRs you know? long distance relationships are very hard so what you do let's say in Lisbon stays in Lisbon and is a good memory that you would treasure all your life but I don't bring the baggage of a relationship with me when I go back here to Manila but in the movie the, the two people meet again no? Anne and for what, straight, some strange reason 
Anne and Marco's character, uh, so just Jericho and Anne is May, they meet again in a like in a historical place, I didn't get the name of the town, but they do meet again and they rekindle their affair. And um, what is sweet in the story is that um, Marco apparently really, Marco's character, Jericho, apparently really cares for Anne. No, um, Anne's character, no, me. So instead of just being a May December affair, it really is a love story. Now these two people really do fall in love. Um, well, um, I'm not really a film critic, no, but uh, there are many in the movie. There are many cliches, no, like uh, it, it, the story is set up uh, through me, through Anne Curtis, <coughs> telling her story <coughs> to a priest. No, um, who's played very well, by the way. By hmm, his name is not even here. There's an actor who plays the priest in actor play priest in. Um, it's actually the oh, who's Joseph Joseph Elizalde. He's, he's very cute, and he's also very funny. You know, the way he acts, the way he. Um, that's actually the fun part in the movie. Him, no? Yosef, Yosef and Isalde. Uh I like the way he played the priest. And the dialogue between him and Anne Curtis is very funny. Uh, although the, the critics say there are many cliches. He has wearing black going to church is a cliche. And then, um, but uh, what I'm saying is the relationship between um, Jericho and me, uh, I can find some truth in that, you know? It's a. Uh, Younger people do fall in love with older people, so it can be like me, you know, an older guy with a younger man. It does happen, and uh, sometimes it's not always about the money. You know, there's, there's, um, they really are just into you. You know, that's why. Um, and in the movie, if you watch it, um, you'll see that um, May gave also gave something up to in the relationship so she had to uh, lose all the trappings of wealth uh, because her husband Edu Manzano found out about it and Edu is a successful businessman but the relationship but their marriage is just uh, for show no there really is no I don't even think they they have sex in the they have no love scene in the movie it's just a respectful relationship between husband and wife but there's no sex there's no, no affection no uh, it looks like Anne's character in the movie is a trophy wife so that's why she her 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 eyes straight around and she had to pick a really young man to to excite her and I do find Marco Gumabo very exciting no? He, he can act and uh, there are many scenes in the movie that I like. He was a he was a he was a tourist guide in one of the scenes and he was very good at it and he was very tall and handsome and he can really talk and then he has a nice body as well so it helps. No? He uh, their love scenes are very well done. Uh, nothing that crosses over the line but um, it's something titillating, especially for older people, though, because uh, um, you know your your desire for sex never really diminishes as you go old. No, it's just it's part of your life. Though. Your body may sag, but um, sex is usually as exciting as it is shown in the movie. You no, know? unfortunately, something happens to the characters. Unfortunately, something happens to them towards the end of the movie, which totally. Um, messes things up especially for Anne uh, Anne's character who gave up a lot for for Jericho and um, that part of the movie I felt sad because anyway it can happen uh, SHIT happens uh, bad things really happen can happen to us so a really bad thing happens to Jericho's character and um, uh, the problem is became that Anne's character could not 
express her grief uh, publicly because the relationship was never public anyway um, so I think that's the sad part of the movie um, I, 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 I actually enjoyed the movie I cried when in the scene where uh, Anne does this really funny scene towards the end uh, and I like and I like how she did it you know um, she was really trying to show her true feelings and then there were two takes in the in that scene because uh, there's this take which was which only happens in her mind and the, the take which really happens in reality because you know um, she, in in their world she was actually just a stranger to both Jericho's parents and and Jericho's uh, girlfriend no? so that's why the movie is just a stranger you'll find out in the end that's the last line uh, Anne says um, I know the critics savaged the movie but I loved it I really enjoyed it um, it's uh, it's entertainment yeah, I was entertained by it because not only was Marco really you know hunky and handsome and you know uh, body to die I mean he's a guy that you'd like to sleep with if you were like 35 years old you know I mean if you want to mess your life like what Anne's character did to her life she, you know, she lived she lived in wealth in trappings she she looked great um, you know because she was the wife of a rich businessman and she gave it up for a guy who was inexperienced I mean who had no experience yet in life huh? so uh, that I totally buy um, uh, towards the end of the movie, what, what makes it sad, at least, though, is that um, Jericho had uh, insecurity problems, yeah? uh, just like, um, I mean, that's how, how he was brought up. So his character had insecurity problems, which he had to overcome. And he never had a chance to overcome it because, uh, you know, he had to bid goodbye, you know. Um, so that part... Uh, was left hanging and uh, I think I cried because uh, of the possibilities of what could have happened if these people were allowed to to love no to continue with the relationship because I think that would be the most ideal thing that would have happened you know uh, Anne would have left Edu permanently and um, Marco's character Jericho would have um, stood up to his parents and did what he really wanted to do um, that would be my ideal movie, but I'm not Jason Pollock Samana, so uh, he could do whatever with the story. Uh, but anyway, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I'm sur I'm I mean Anne is a really good actress. Again, she was good here. Uh, she did comedy. She did uh, because in the last scene it was a bit of a comedy. You know? It was a dark comedy, but. And it also, she came out, came out as a mature woman, um, you know, um, trying to baby this this boy who, who who falls for her. And then, of course, when she had to, you know, um, because she she had to leave Edu, she now had to look dowdy. So even when Aunt Curtis looks dowdy, she still looks beautiful. But it's believable. I've seen beautiful women. Uh, dulled down, um, uh, like now, no, in the in this pandemic, most people just stay at home. So our glamorous friends, whom we now look uh, dulled down because we don't have to wear those fancy clothes. So just like in the movie, um, would I recommend to anyone to watch The Stranger? Yes, it's great entertainment. It's a uh, it's an adultery story, but. We all have our secret adultery stories, but um, it's only for our, for our diaries to know. And uh, if you do tell our our relationships about it, our, our I mean our boyfriends or girlfriends or husbands or wives, then we must have the courage to face you know, the consequences. Um, in the movie, Anne's character face up to her consequences. That's why maybe that's one of the reasons I cried because she gave up so much. And then namatay pa, no? And then, um, but anyway, um, it's love, no? You fight for love, and she's pretty anyway, you know. I mean, her character 
May is pretty and smart, so I'm sure she would not lack for any other for any other men to fall in love with her. Maybe another rich man uh, to take care of her. So anyway, uh, that's my movie review of the movie Just a Stranger. Um, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and uh, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. No? Uh, I do movie reviews aside from. My usual work, which is to coach people about uh, research writing. Um, looking forward to my next... Uh, I hope to see you on my next movie review. Uh, keep safe, everyone. Take care.